Italy's parliamentary chaos is just beginning. Huge turnouts by anti-establishment voters have taken power away from the traditional leaders and, as one paper put it, made Italy ungovernable. Senior foreign affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg is in Milan tonight. The anti-establishment fervor roiling European politics swept into Italy. 31-year-old Luigi Di Maio from Naples tells reporters he can't begin to describe his emotions. His party, the Five Star Movement, which started out as a protest blog, got more votes than any other single party in Italy's election Sunday. For the first time you have a movement which starts from Apparently, nobody, I mean just the lower uh, layers of the Italian society, and which in a few years is able to take more than 30% of the Italian electorate. Still, Five Star's windfall of about 32% is not enough to govern alone. A party or coalition needs 40% to form a government. A coalition of center-right parties got 37, but the twist was the winner within that grouping was not old-timer Silvio Berlusconi's party, but the upstart Eurosceptic Anti-Immigrant League run by Matteo Salvini. That means Italy's election results, while inconclusive as far as who will be the next prime minister, are about the rise of two populist parties. I was reading in Brussels that there are some that are worried. They are wrong. The European people, with the Italian vote, have taken a step closer to freedom from the constraints and cages that are bringing Europe back to hunger, instability and insecurity. The issues have been migration and a flagging economy. One out of three young Italians is unemployed. The incumbent Democrats had started cracking down on illegal migration, and the economy here is finally out of recession. But for voters, it appears it was too little too late, and the Democrats took just about 18 percent of votes. The Five Star Movement, being anti-establishment, had ruled out going into coalition with anyone else. They seem to have softened that stance today, but so far none of the parties they criticized are lining up to join forces with them. A period of intense horse trading lies ahead, Shannon. It does. All right. Amy Kellogg, thank you very much. Live from Milan.